Hey folks, just a quick video for you today. For those of you looking to get the Beyond the Dawn expansion pack for Tales of Arise, I want to just explain exactly what carries over from your main save file when you start this expansion because the story itself, the narrative, is set after the completion of the story of the main game. So I think a lot of people are going to assume that your party including all their equipment levels and that is going to be carrying over into the expansion, but that's not the case. So if I go ahead here and select to start a new game, then it is going to detect that we do have a main story save file. And that does give us some additional bonuses. And for completing the main story, we can effectively get a gold boost, an SP and a CP boost as well. Now, an additional boost, if we have all of our characters at level 100, in the main game, then we will also get a special weapon bonus. But don't get too excited about that as I'm going to show you. Now, you can enable or disable these bonuses. Um, you can't enable them like one at a time or choose what to carry over. So you can only have them or not have them all as one. So let's go ahead and select yes here. So as we just start the game here, you can see we get the special weapon bonus, which is for our two party members that we currently have. Now, the other party members will join in about 15 minutes and they will get the bonuses as well. But I said not to be too excited about those. So we've got Elfen and Xion right now. As you can see, all the party members will start at level 65. Um, that isn't anything to do with carrying bonuses over. Anyone, whether you've completed the story or not, will start at level 65 with this expansion. But as you can see, we also have that bonus gold and also bonus skill points. Both would be at zero if I'd not chosen to carry those across. And if we head over to the equipment, we currently have, for example, the Sinclaver Blade Legacy. But we do have the bonus weapon as well, which is the Golden Sinclaver Blade. As you can see, nothing to really get excited over. It gives plus single digits to stats, and that's about it. And the same is true for Xi'an here. Okay, get a few extra stats, but nothing to write home about. And the same will be true for our other party members when they join as well. So these bonus weapons are really kind of pointless, if I'm honest with you, apart from the fact that you might prefer how they look. Okay, but you're going to be upgrading those fairly quickly, I would think. In terms of skills, yes, you do get a bit of a boost there because you have a few thousand skill points to spend that you don't get if you didn't complete the main story. However, your actual stats and levels are going to be identical. You may never have played Tales of Arise before, fire up the expansion, and you are going to be seeing those same stats that I have here. But there is one other thing that I do want to point out, and that is if you head over to Unclaimed DLC Items, any DLC that you had for the main game, you can also use here in the expansion, including experience boosts, SP boosts, whatever the case may be. You can, for example, if I take the double experience and double skill points, I can then head over to the artifacts and turn those on if I wish to do so. Okay, there they are. So you can still use those if you had them in the main game. And the same is true for costumes as well. Any costumes that you have unlocked on your account, your PlayStation account, will also carry over to the expansion. So yeah, a few things like that do carry over, but nothing in terms of actual character power. And something else that's really confusing to me, if we head down to the actual Beyond the Dawn stuff here in terms of the weapons, okay, there's some pre-order data that you may have if you did pre-order the expansion. Um, if I go ahead and grab the weapons here, Let's just grab everything. Now, let me show you these weapons. There we go. Look at that. The stats on them are absolutely atrocious. So what is this even about? Why are the pre-order weapons substantially worse than the weapons that we started with? Now, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not a big fan of pre-order character power. But why include them at all if they're completely pointless? Why am I going to equip the Argent Noble Rose that almost takes a third off my power when the standard weapon that is equipped when you launch the game is more significant in terms of what it offers. I just, I, yeah, I don't get that. Maybe I'm missing something. If I am, please explain that to me in the comments because I could just be being thick about it. But folks, there we have it. So you don't really carry anything across from the main game. Um, you do get a few bonuses that you can choose to start with if you wish to. And your costumes 
and your DLC that you've purchased that were usable in the main game are also usable here as well with the expansion. Let me know in the comments if you are playing Beyond the Dawn and what you think of it so far. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.